Hey guys, in this video, we're going to go over all the new deals and limited packs on the Pearl Store this week. This video will mostly be for players who want to know what the real value of all these packs are, or newer players who want to know what's worth it to get in the Pearl Store. PA really likes to put discounts on packs, but sometimes they don't include bonus items or they value the items in the packs incorrectly, so today we'll look for the real discounts in this video. This week is a bit of a filler week, with no big event taking place. However, there are a lot of core items being put on sale, which we will discuss how good they are for players who may not be as familiar with these items, like maids, weight, and inventory slots. The first thing we're going to go over are the 3 plus 2 sales. Because you are paying full price for 3 items and getting 2 items for free, you're basically getting 5 items for the price of 3. This would make almost all of these sales a 40% discount, which include premium outfits, artisans, maids, gospies, and inventory slots. For all these items, since they are pretty basic items that are often put on sale, 40% off isn't even that great, as you would usually hope for a sale for 50% off or more. Because of that, I wouldn't really recommend getting any of these items unless you are super in need of them. However, none of these items are really items that are required to play, and inventory slots are really a lot easier to get now free to play, so that's not a big deal. The big issue with these packs comes when you look at artisans' memories and inventory slots. Because both artisans and inventory slots are sold for cheaper at higher quantities, for example, artisans if you buy them at bulk are only 20 pearls each, but if you buy them one at a time, there are 25 pearls each. The problem is though that if you look at the 3 plus 2 packs, they value artisans artificially higher at 22.5 pearls each instead of the lowest 20 pearls each at bulk purchases. If we use the bulk pricing of 20 pearls each for each artisan, you're buying 50 artisans which would be worth 1000 pearls. However, because you're paying 675 pearls for these 50 artisans, that would only make this bundle a 32.5% discount instead of 40%. This is also the same exact thing for inventory slots, which if you value at 1450 pearls for 16 slots or 90.625 pearls per slot, would make the sale only 30.48% off rather than the 40% off. Either way though, I really wouldn't recommend anyone get the 3 plus 2 sales anyways, unless they're super desperate, but it's definitely a little bit worse if you're buying artisans or inventory slots. Moving on from the 3 plus 2 sales, the next sale is quite interesting as it includes almost all weight items for 20 to 25% off. The interesting thing is that these packs are going to be permanently added to the Pearl Store forever or until PA decides to take them off. What this means is that the base price of weight will be 20% less for all weight ranging from 50 to 300 and 25% off for all weights 30, 50, and 400. 400 weight will also be permanently added to the Pearl Store. The big thing is that you will have to buy these packs instead of the individual weights to get this discount, but there really is no reason not to get these packs if you're gonna buy all the weight anyways. Weight is gonna be one of the big quality of life items that separate free to play players from basic spenders, as free to play players are simply not able to get as much weight without paying and it does help make PvE and life skilling easier. The big thing though is that because the sale is going to last forever according to PA, there really is no rush in getting these weight packs. The most interesting thing is that if PA ever wants to put weight on sale, which they usually do, they will have to put weight on sale for much more than the 20-25% to off, as that is now the base price of weight for characters. So if you are patient enough to wait for a limited sale, weight will likely be sold for a lot cheaper than 20 to 25% off. Now for the final big pack, we have the Choose Your Lucky Pet Pack, which is just a basic 20% off for a drop rate pet. PA prices these at 1800 pearls, but sometimes rare pets do get put on sale for 1100 pearls each. Having at least one drop rate pet is definitely really nice to have but you can usually pre-order these on the central market and they do sometimes sell for silver. So this pack at 20% off is really not that big of a deal. Arctic Foxes are often put on sale for a lot more or part of a really big discounted pack. 
The more interesting thing about this pack is that it comes with 30 loot scrolls. For people who are very low on loot scrolls, they often value them at 50 pearls each or even more. If you add that 1500 pearl value to this pack, which is 30 loot scrolls at 50 pearls each, then this pack definitely becomes a lot better as you're basically buying loot scrolls at full price and getting a bonus arctic fox that you can either use or sell on the central market. If you are pretty low on loot scrolls, this may be an okay pack at a 56% discount if you include the price of the arctic fox. However, this is a pretty niche case and for most people this pack isn't going to be very good. Next up is the Celebrating Graduation, which has a bunch of things for 20% off, including Maids, Goss Fees, Mount Brandstones, and Mount Coupons, along with a Celestial Horse Calling Horn. For all of these items, 20% off is basically the bare minimum of a sale, and they're often put on sale for a lot more. For example, the Maids are currently on a 40% off sale this week if you buy the 3 plus 2 pack, and even then, it's not that big of a deal. This sale only puts them at 20% off if you buy one, which is really not that great. All the mount items also fit in this category of going on sale a lot, so this sale isn't really going to be a big deal, and if you're willing to wait, there are going to be a lot better discounts in the future. However, if you are going to be using these items, of course you can pick them up, and it's better than buying them at full price. Before our conclusion, I would like to mention that the weekly premium outfit pack and the Artisan's Memory Packs are no longer going to be permanently on the Pearl Store and will end after October 2nd for the premium outfit and October 8th for the Artisan's Memories. Ever since PA released these packs, I knew that they were going to be pretty bad for PA and likely removed, as I mentioned in the Pearl Shop Rundown during their release. What these packs did was basically reduce the base price you can buy premium outfits and artisans by 30% each, as these packs are 30% off and were always purchasable every week for up to 10 purchases which is a lot more than most people will buy. The issue for PA is that with these packs permanently on the Pearl Store, they would have to release even better sales greater than 30% off during weekly sales and even greater ones during event sales. This does cause a lot of issues and some of their weekly sales for artisans and outfits did end up being worse than just getting the permanent 30% off pack, so it's not surprising that they're removing this. Even though it is nicer for players not to spend full pearls, it does create issues for PA that I may explain in a standalone video later on. With that being said though, it does bring into question why they are introducing permanent sales for weight packs but maybe since weight isn't put on sale as often, it's not going to be as much of a problem. Either way though, this is a pretty interesting change and I will look to see what PA does in the future. But that's basically it for this video. Kind of a filler week with not that many big sales. I am trying new things for these types of videos by making them a bit more condensed and putting a lot of the packs together. For some of these more filler sales, there is no point in taking too long to explain some of these packs, if they aren't going to be worth it to buy either way. And it does allow me to put more time towards the better packs and explain them more in depth. I will try other things in the future to try and make these videos a lot more concise, but not skipping out on some of these sales that people may be interested in, as this is a beginner friendly series. Either way though, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I do hope to see you all next time.